Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. Are you join us for a bonus unboxing video where I'm going to unbox the Hog Whisperer and the Slop Haulers, the Gremlins. <laughs> I was finding it very funny for some reason. Because I was chewing a sweet and you started without me. I did. <laughs> not, not nice. It was a cunning ploy to, to see whether you'd talk or not. Cool. So, um, Hog Whisperer first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's what we get in the box. We got a piglet and the Hog Whisperer himself. <laughs> So, um, this is a hog whisperer. you are. <laughs> Why? Just makes me laugh. Brilliant. <laughs> this is new. Oop. Makes me laugh that much, but uh, nothing the camera on. Right, so what have we got? Got the card, hog whisperer card. Every time I say it, you laugh. 30mm base. And that's it, is it? Mm-hmm. Only one 30mm base, you know? Mm, looks like it. Right, hold. Um, so let's uh, check the instructions. Okay, so just check, checking up on a few things there. Um, so, the Hog Whisperer does go on a base on his own, but so does the pig, but you only get one base, in it? Mm. Well, she meant to base them both together, because there's no separate stat card for the pig. Bit of a quandary, really. What I'm going to do, because I've got spare pig cards from the uh, the Arsenal deck. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, base the pig separately and use it as another piglet. Yeah. yeah. That's the best way to do it. Otherwise, it's going to take a lot of room trying to get them both on this base. Yeah. Even if I build it up, it might look a bit strange. I think we've got plenty of bases knocking around. Yeah, I've got plenty of spare bases, fortunately, um, to do that. Um, but there we go. But when you read any description of it, it just says Hog Whisperer and Hog Whisperer card and 30 millimeter base. Yeah. So I don't think it's been mispacked. I don't think you get one. No, you must no. do. So um, we checked a few sites yeah. and that's all we could find. Which is a bit strange because you've technically got two models. Yeah. But it doesn't say two models on the back of the box either. It just says Hog Whisperer <laughs> and it has Hog Piglet. Whisperer and Piglet. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe they're meant, they are meant to go on the same base, but I don't. I've seen a few pictures of him now, I don't see how he'd fit on. No, the pictures that we've seen, the two separate bases, the yeah. two separate models, so... So, I think I'm going to do it that way. Mm. So, let's get him off, and let's get off all these parts. And then we'll start to build with the pig. It consists of four parts. Just the pork belly, you know. <laughs> and then we have uh, the hog whisper, which is five parts. Do you laugh every time I say Hog Whisperer? I think I must do. I don't know why I find it funny. I'm sorry. Hog Whisperer. See, didn't laugh. <laughs> I was going to say he didn't laugh that time. Didn't I? So we have the head with the beard. And then we have the hat, which comes in two parts. The whole body's one part, really. And then we have the uh, pitchfork. The pitchfork, which uh, just attaches on there. So, um, the best thing to do is just stick it together, really, because it's not too complicated. That bit goes on there, then that square goes onto his head. So we'll do that bit first. Okay. So there's the head and the hat together. Now I'll just stick the uh, pitchfork onto the body. There's the body together. Pretty easy to put together. There. Okay. So, next thing to do is just stick his head on there, but we're going to let it dry for a second. I'm going to move on to the pig. So the pig consists of this belly part and then it consists of two sides. Just go on. Like that. So the belly fits in there. So I'm, I'm assuming it's that way around, that little tab bit to the front. So we'll put those bits together. So there are the pig components. So the last thing to do on the pig is to stick his tusks on and whatever he's chewing. So it's basically the, uh, the lower part of his mouth mm. and the tusks. Yeah, which way it goes on. Yeah, it 
put on that way. Like that. So we'll stick David on and we'll stick his head on there. There we go. There's the finished pig. What? And there's the finished hog whisperer. I'm not laughing this time. You did a very good job not to laugh there, yeah. You can just fit them both in the same bay. If you wanted to. Like that. It's you very crowded. It. Yeah. <clears throat> As I said, I'm going to put them on separate bases anyway. And then I can use the piglet as a piglet. Cool. So next time you see them, hopefully they'll be painted and on bases. Mm. Let's move on to the slop hollows. Here again. Slop hollows isn't going to laugh, is it? No, he doesn't. It's not. Not as funny as hog, hog whisper. You can't say it. Because you're eating sweet again. Mm. Oh. <laughs> to the Sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Let's have a look. So we've got cards. We have slot hauler 2 and slot hauler 1. In that order, for some reason. Two bases. Excellent. So let's start with number 1. This guy. So we'll get all the parts off for this guy. Here's the first slop hauler. So we've got legs, body, head, part of bandana, hands, and two buckets. So we'll start by putting the legs, the body, and the head together. Because the head's on one piece, apart from the bandana. And we're back. So there we go. So the next part is we'll put the part of the bandana on, which goes. In the back of his head there, you can see that one there. Goes into that gap. A bit there. And then we'll put the arms on. And back in a the moment, so there we go. So we've got the part of the bandana underneath the uh, bars. <coughs> So the next thing to do is just to put the buckets on. I'm not sure they go on any particular way around. But it would make sense. That was on that side. Because of the slant on it. And that was on this side. Again, just because of the way the wire is. Is that not right? Right, mm, same time. Yep. So if they go on that way around, so that's that one. Cool. So I'll get those two stuck on. Okay, so my guess was wrong. I'm looking at the instructions. It actually goes the other way around. So one with a twisted um, rope on it is on this side. The other one is on that side, sort of banging into his arm. Like that. And that's the first slop hole done. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> so now we move on to the second. Okay, so the second slot hauler seems to have one big barrel. Mm -hmm. It's made of two parts. Which goes on his back with this little dismal pointing down. And that's obviously the bit that goes into his back. There you go. Then we have two legs. Two arms and one head. No hat or anything on this guy. Just like a he's got a bandana on. He's got a bandana over. Covering one eye. Covering one eye, yeah. Could have been injured at some point. By an overzealous pig. <laughs> Hog whisperer wasn't around. He laughed. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna stick these two parts together. I'm also gonna stick the legs onto the body. Okay, so back so I'm gonna attach both arms. <laughs> so the right arm has this bit of rope which is going over his shoulder which will attach to the barrel and the other arm appears to be just next to this one like he's holding it with two ends of rope which is a bit weird because there's only one rope don't quite understand that so no. but we shall stick it together how it looks it might become clear okay, so there we go with the arms so maybe he's operating some kind of pulley system which uh, opens the barrel as he's walking along that's how it's meant to work. So we'll stick the barrel on 
and then we'll stick the head on. And that'll be him done. And there he is, finished. Feels cool. Two slot hallways. So when he's dry, I'll stick him on a base. But here's the other guy from before, who I'll make a base for. We have the hog whisperer. He laughed. And the piglet. There we go. So that's uh, those four models. Three models, depending on which way you count. Mm. And um, hope you've enjoyed that little bonus video. Cool. These are the good additions to my growing gremlin army. Mm -hmm. I intend to uh, catch them all, as they say. <laughs> so um, stay tuned for some more. And uh, join us again next time. Oh, and we want to give a shout out to uh, War Games in Southport as well, don't we? We do, yeah. Yeah. Um, on Lord Street, which is the main street in Southport. Yeah, where we got these from. Um, he aims to be the biggest uh, retailer for Malifaux in the UK. Mm hmm. For us to become that, so good on him. Yeah. We need somewhere that stocks Malifaux. We do. But we can go in and just buy it. So um, we'll be quite fingers shocked. crossed that, that works for him. Yeah. But uh, go and check it out if you can. Give him some support. He'll, and um, he's also on Facebook. Yes, he is. He's also uh, on Facebook. War games. There's war games. Mm hmm. And if you put war games Southport into Google, it normally finds where he is as well. Yeah. So um, check him out. And you can like and subscribe to us as well if you want to see some more of our videos. And um, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.